Welcome back. This time let's talk about video equipment for your business. I'm Tristan Omada and I run a lab code agents. It's the largest real estate community on the planet. We get to test out a lot of technology and I also run a real estate team out of Southern California. So these are the tools that I've been using over the last few years and I've accumulated some of these. Let's start off with the one that I think is the most important of all, right? And that's the Yeti mic. You can see mine right here. It's actually uh, black here and there are different colors. There's the gray one, there's the blue one. I own two, one over there on my stand-up desk area and then this one they're not that inexpensive it's 129 bucks but they're really great and i love the quality you can you can just mute really quick right here with a touch of a button and uh it, it's been really good so that's the mic i recommend if you're shooting like blogs or vlogs anything like that when it comes to a lapel mic let's say you're shooting outside maybe a shoot inside I recommend this road one. I just got this one. And this little road one clips in your shirt on the top, on the side, whatever shirt you're wearing. And then it connects to, to your phone or it connects it to a device. And I really, really like this one a lot. I'm really impressed by it. And so far, I'm loving that. So that's with the mics, right? Now let's get into the stands. The stands, this, this one you can see right here. I got this one right here. And this is probably the thing, the one thing I use the most besides my phone, right? Besides the iPhone. I use this practically to shoot everything that I put up on social media, except right now I'll show you what I'm using. It's Ecamm Live. But uh, right here, the reason I love this one is because it comes with this little attachment that you can unscrew. You can put a camera on the top and you can then uh, use it for whatever you want. But this little attachment lets you shoot vertically or lets you shoot horizontally. See, both ways, super easy to use. And then this, this allows you to just wrap this around a steering wheel if you're parked or a branch on a tree or if you can get creative anywhere really uh, as long as it can grip around it you're fine and so i, I love this little jobby uh, little device i also have a bigger one behind me here i'll show you uh let's see here behind there i use that one for uh the canon that i have here's one important thing the lights lights are so important only because if I had no light right here, which I do, I have two ring lights pointing this way, it becomes a challenge to see you. And then all of a sudden, instead of listening to you and engaging with you, when you're trying to create content, whether it's just you shooting from your phone on your jobby, right? All of a sudden, people are, are kind of distracted by the darkness. So you've got to have the right lighting. This, you can go online, take a look at it. I put, I'm gonna put the link up on, on YouTube right there, but it's super, super easy to set up. It all comes, it comes already built up. So you just click it, attach it, turn on the light, and it's done. They range in price from anywhere from $24 to about $100. I, I chose kind of like the middle ground, just so that I wouldn't screw up getting the least expensive one and then would break. So now let's talk a little bit about cameras. Uh, besides your iPhone or your Android, if you wanna just go all the way and upgrade, I would suggest that you get probably the uh, the Canon 80D, and that's the one I'm holding right here. So typically what I would do is I would have this on a tripod, on the tripod you see behind me, and then I'd connect it to my computer and then run run through Ecamm Live and then show it through there. Good quality, but I'll show you the, the, the camera here. I have the, the webcam, which I'll show you in a little bit. It's just as good. So you don't need it to get this. It's quite expensive as well. Once you have all of the attachments to it and all the other stuff, it ends up costing $2,000. Just for this, it's like a thousand bucks with tax. So I might pass up on this. Not You don't need it for everything. Get a photographer if you wanna shoot some pictures. Uh, you have a phone, use your phone. Uh, next, I wanted to talk about it, are the webcams. So this is the one I actually own, the, the Brio Ultra HD Pro. But if you zoom in here, you can see it says out of stock and they're not gonna get any until August. Unless you find some place that has them, then they're probably super expensive. Instead of it being $200, they're probably charging you like $500 for it. So just wait. I've had this Brio Ultra HD cam uh, webcam for, a year and a half and it's great this is the quality i'm shooting right now so high quality high high uh, highly recommend this one here's one that i tested out and then when i decided that i wanted to get it 
they didn't have it anymore. Very sad story. I did test it out. It's the Logitech Stream Cam, and uh, you can change horizontal, vertical. It's super easy to use. Plugs in. You can stream high quality. Uh, less expensive than the other one I showed you, but I still loved it a lot, and I wanted to get it. Unfortunately, they're out of stock, so I'm waiting for that one. Now, let's get into how to stream or what tech to use to stream into Facebook, YouTube, or just to do webinars. So I highly recommend Zoom. I know it's, it's out there. Everybody's using it. We've been using Zoom for such a long time. I recommend that you go pro. Only because when you go pro, you're allowed to block people coming in. You're allowed to make moderators and, and panelists if you do the webinar option. Uh, more importantly, when you go pro, you can stream into Facebook. You can stream into YouTube and Facebook Workplace. And also, if you want to get a little bit techy, you can also stream into other sources through uh, other streaming devices. The best part about Zoom is that you can do webinars and you can bring up to 10,000 people into the webinars. And that's what excites me. So uh, Zoom is very powerful. Now, here's one that you may not have heard of only because it's it's barely catching traction. And that's Ecamm Live. That's actually what I'm using right now. I love Ecamm Live. You can stream to multiple areas, Facebook Live, YouTube, Periscope, Twitch, all these places with this. And it's not very expensive. It's, I think, less than 50 bucks a month. Now, there are, there's a learning curve, so I highly suggest that if you do get Ecamm Live, and I'll put the link up here, but Ecamm Live, that you invest about an hour to learn how to use it because it's super powerful and you can add certain words. I mean, look, there, there's a few things you can do here. Let's see if I have this. I can add words. Like, let's talk about video. You see that? I just added, I added these pictures there live, and then you can do things like... <laughs> Right, you can applaud, or you can you can pretend you're um, Darth Vader. You don't know the power of the dark side. Yeah, uh, you, you don't. can always do that and pause it. But uh, anyways, Ecamm Live, check them out. They're, they're pretty cool. So that's something I'm super excited about. Uh, let's talk about how I connect all of these devices, because I have all these wires everywhere, right? And so two more things here. This is the Stego... It's the Stego USB-C hub and it's by 12 South. And you can see here it connects to, it connects right here with, to the computer, to your laptop. And then you can connect, you can connect an SD card. You can connect all these other little devices to it, HD, uh, HDMI cables, USB and, and C drive. So it's really, really powerful and it's very small. So you can take it with you anywhere, but I highly suggest that you're going to, that you get this if you have a lot of, tech and you need to connect it to everything. Now, lastly, if you're shooting video outside of your home a lot or while you're out working and, and it requires you to, to kind of hold your camera out, the challenge is always stabilizing it, right? Because once you're done, the video's like all shaky. Nobody wants to watch shaky video. I don't. So get yourself a DJI, a DJI Osmo 3. Um, I have one. Actually, I have two, part two here. I have, I have two, only because they kept on getting a new one, and I'm like, I don't need a three. Uh, I'll just stick with two. Anyways, you can see here, very easy to hold. You can hold it out, and then what happens is it stabilizes as you're going through whatever you're going through. And this way, people don't have to focus on the shakiness and then leave. They can stay on, and then you can show them whatever it is you want to show them. It also follows you, so... The camera just automatically detects where you're heading out. So those are the things that I highly suggest. Um, now, these are things that I've tested out and currently own, except for that uh, the Logitech Stream Cam that I really wanted that I couldn't get. Other than that, I own everything else here. So I've tested it out and I highly recommend it. So if you have any questions or you want to add anything, any comments here, just let me know. Be happy to answer anything. And again, thanks for joining. Do me a favor and hit subscribe if you're not subscribed and click the little bell. This way, when I add anything new, you also get an email and it makes me happy. I mean, you want to make me happy, right? Thanks so much, everybody. I appreciate it.